when sun heats water from seas, rivers, lakes, part of it evaporates, turning into millions of tiny, invisible droplets, which are so light they rise up in the sky. And when all these tiny droplets ascending reach cooler air, they all join together, forming slightly larger drops, which are suddenly visible in what we know as clouds. It's very kind of you clouds to help control the planet's climate. During the day, we're just like huge parasols, protecting the Earth from the sun. Guys, I'm a climate <laughs> This is more or less what clouds do at night. Clouds cover the Earth with a blanket to stop the heat escaping into the sky. Hey guys, check that cloud out. Looks like a lamb. It's the wind who's responsible for shaping clouds. Jane, they're all there. Look, there are the stratus clouds which always travel low. You mean the ones that hide mountains and settle on the sea? Yes, that's them. And those are cumulus. They are usually round-shaped and as white as cotton ball. Cumulus are born small, and with regular supply of evaporated water, we grow larger and larger until we turn into cumulus nimbus. Wow, that's incredible. You clouds are amazing. Cirrus. These dare into extreme heights where temperatures are freezing, and that's why they're formed by ice crystals. Hi, pal. I'm also frozen. It's as cold as the North Pole up there. <laughs> Cloud's duties are to control the climate and distribute water throughout the world. Raindrops, raindrops falling from the sky on the ground and in the seas. Raindrops, good for crops. Raindrops, good for all. Nice big rainbow will.